Hi, I'm Alex DeMartin. And I'm Jack Tui Bedford. And for our how-to project, we're going to tell you how to be green. We're letting you know how to be green, not only to better ourselves, but to better the world around us. The steps to be green is, one, always have an open mind. Number two, be aware of what can save the earth. Three, have the ambition to do things right. Don't settle for the minimum. And number four, make sure you go the extra mile. And brisk. What are you doing? Did you know that you can go to your local redemption center and get a five cent return for these? Even if they don't have the five cent return, you can still recycle them. Remember that. Come here, let me show you something. You can have a designated recycle bin just like this in your household. And? This is where we put our trash? Exactly. And whenever you're doing this, make sure you have fun with it, just like you said earlier. exercise and make it challenging. Marty Sh- No layup. A way to be eco-friendly or green, you should save as much water as possible. Take my friend Alex, for example. He's brushing his teeth, but he's not even using the water yet. He keeps it on. If you really want to go green, use as less water as possible when, you, when brushing your teeth. Save the fishies? Yeah. Finally, I'm done. Now I can go play with my friends. Bye, Mom. Be careful. What are you doing? What? You left the lights on. Whatever. It's a beautiful sunny day. You don't need these lights on to see. I guess. Let me teach you a lesson. In order to go green, save as much light energy as possible, just like I told you about the water. Alright. Was that so hard? No. Thanks, you're the best. <laughs> Looks like my phone is done charging. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's up? You're just gonna leave your power cord plugged in like that? Yeah, well, hey, what's wrong? Did you know that if you unplug at least one power cord a day, you can save $50 in your electricity bill? Go. Field? Really? Yeah. Hey, Mom, I'm going to Jack's. Wear your seatbelt. Yup. You should limit the car use as much as possible. For short destinations, you don't have to use a car. You can use rollerblades or a scooter. Take this for example. See, he wasn't going very far. There's no need to take the car. See, we got there just after him without using any gas. Go. Yeah. Oh, hi there. Another useful tip for staying green is line drying laundry. As you can see, my clothes are pretty much dry now. When you use the washer and dryer, it uses a lot of electricity, and for the most part, it's just it's unuseful. So as you can see, I'm just gonna hang myself here, wait a little bit, and I'll be all set. Stay green. Collecting rainwater is a really good way to water your plants and to stay green. See, I've collected a bucket full of rainwater that I could just use on any plants I want. It works really well. What's the difference between these two light bulbs besides this one being squirrely? I'll tell you. Hey, Jack. Hey. Well, these light bulbs don't look much different, but honestly, this one saves about $100 a year on your electricity bill as opposed to this, as opposed to this one. But yet, they shine just Let's as go. well. Let's go. Oh, so what the heck just happened? Mom! Mm. Hey, Alex. Did you throw this can away the other day? She was saying, yeah, I did. Why? Did you know recycling one can can power your TV up to three hours? I didn't know that, wow. It's true. That might be the problem behind your little...
TV problem. I remember that, Jack. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing there, guy? Just, uh, dry my hands. I don't think you need that money. Jesus. Here, here's a cloth. Did you know 27 million trees a year are destroyed when we use paper towels in America? Really? Really. Next time you wash your hands or spill something, think about those trees. I will. Alright, I'll pick up my laundry in about 10 minutes. Tomorrow afternoon, I'll do the food shopping for the week. And Saturday, I think I'm gonna get some new shoes at the mall. No! What I was just doing, you don't want to do. When you have a list of errands, try and do them once a week. That way you save a lot of gas, which saves a lot of money. Looks like I just got my bills done. They send so much in the mail. Hey, what are you doing oh, using all that man. paper, man? Not much, just paying off some bills. Did you know you can pay your bills on like, in the internet on websites such as paymybills.com, getmybillsdonenow.org, or plenty others. See, I'm on one now, for instance. Really? Yeah. That looks pretty easy and simple, too. Yeah. See, all you have to do is scroll down when you can, and you just, and you just, um, you just insert your bills in here, and they pay it for you. Really? Yeah. I swear. That sounds good to me. I'm gonna think, yeah. I think I'm gonna start doing that. You should. It saves, it saves time, it saves paper, and especially, it saves money. Thanks, man. Whoa. Awesome. There I go. Jack, wake up. What's up? Not much. See, going green takes a lot of dedication, communication, and determination. Whenever you want to go green, you want to stay committed. It's a 24-7 thing, and make sure you stick to it. Here we are again at Camp Greeno, and we're here to tell you a little fact. Did you know that just taking a 10 minute shower weighs 100 gallons of water? Jack here doesn't think that's right. Instead of taking a shower, once or twice a week he'll come down to Camp Greeno, the pond, and he'll just jump in and rinse off and do what he has to does. Here he is taking off his socks. Taking off his shirt. Necklace first. Necklace first. Can you hold this for me? Of course I can. Thanks. I'm Jack Tui Bedford. And I'm Alex Martin. And we just taught you how to be green. I was, I was kind of planning it. That was a bad idea, though.